Interval's Recess Downlights by Sonomon Away of Light is a state-of-the-art, high-performance, specification-grade lighting system featuring unparalleled flexibility and modularity. Housings, light engines, trims, optics, and more can all be easily installed, serviced, and reconfigured in the field thanks to several patent-pending innovations. In this video, we're going to walk through the installation and servicing of the 2, 3, and 4-inch Interval's Recess Downlights for fixed, adjustable, and wall wash trims. To prepare for installation of an Intervals Recessed IC Housing Rough-In section, open the adapter door by loosening the screws and removing the driver housing, hanger arms, and packing material. Set aside the driver housing and hanger arms for later use. Close the adapter door and tighten the screws. For wooden joist or suspended T-grid installation, loosen the locking screws. Then, install the adjustable hanger arms into the slots on the housing or pan. If necessary, the hanger arms can be shortened by breaking along the pre-scored marks. If using the optional adjustable height butterfly brackets, First, remove the screw from the desired side of the housing or pan. Adjust the height of the butterfly bracket to a raised position to expose the mounting hole. Then install the bracket onto the housing or pan using the screw. Remove the appropriate knockouts from the IC housing depending on your installation conditions. Remove the necessary number of knockouts from the junction box end cap. It is best to do this with the end cap installed in order to avoid damaging the end cap. Install the rough-in housing or pan into the ceiling structure using the appropriate method for your installation. Open the adapter door by loosening the screws. To change to a different adapter door, unhook the door from the housing or pan. Install the new door by passing the ground wire through the slot on the door and hooking it back onto the housing or pan. Pull the building cable or flexible conduit through the knockout in the housing or pan, extending approximately 16 inches of service loop into the housing before securing with the appropriate connector. Remove the end cap with knockouts from the junction box. Secure the building cable or flexible conduit to the end cap with the appropriate connector. Then, connect the branch circuit wiring and dimming control wires, if present, to the fixture wires in the junction box using the provided push-in connectors. Carefully push the connections into the junction box and reinstall the end cap, connecting the ground wire from the housing or pan using one of the end cap screws. Lay the junction box inside the housing or on top of the pan and close the adapter door by tightening the screws. Be sure the output plug is within reach of the opening in the adapter door. For square adapter doors, loosen the two screws and adjust the position of the reject collar to align it as needed. Then, Retighten the screws to lock the position. Install the finished ceiling and cut the appropriate sized hole in the ceiling material using the adapter door as a template or by following the cutout dimensions for your ceiling application provided in the cut sheets or assembly instructions. For flange ceiling applications with fixed downlight or wall wash trims, Install the ceiling flange to the fixture by folding up the spring wings and slipping the ceiling flange over the fixture before carefully releasing the spring wings. For round adjustable trims, install the ceiling flange to the fixture by folding the spring wings inward and slipping the ceiling flange over the fixture. For square adjustable trims, install the ceiling flange to the fixture by swinging the mounting tabs inward and slipping the ceiling flange over the fixture. For flangeless mud-in ceiling applications with round trims, install the mud-in plate using the provided screws and tabs, aligning them with the notches on the adapter door and clamping the tabs against the inside of the adapter door. 
Use the shortest screws that you can for your ceiling thickness. For flangeless mud in ceiling applications with square trims, install the mud in plate by screwing it into the threaded holes on the adapter door, using the shortest screws that you can for your ceiling thickness. Plaster over the mud in plate, sanding back to reveal the bottom lip of the plate, ensuring there is no plaster on the inside of the collar before painting. This is critical to avoid chipping of the plaster around the opening and to ensure a good fit with the fixture. For flangeless millwork ceiling applications, insert the millwork collar into the hole in the ceiling so that the bottom of the collar is flush with the bottom of the ceiling. Then, tighten the set screws to secure the millwork collar. For decorative trims, install the decorative accessory by screwing it into the bottom of the trim before installing the fixture. To install the finishing section of the fixture, pull the low voltage plug out of the ceiling and connect it to the plug on the fixture. For fixed and wall wash trims, fold up the spring wings and insert the fixture into the ceiling. For wall wash trims, be sure to align the trim so that the flat side of the aperture is parallel to and on the side furthest away from the wall. For round adjustable trims, first remove the trim cover, then carefully fold the spring wings in and insert the fixture into the ceiling while rotating it counterclockwise, holding the spring wings in as long as possible. Once the fixture is fully inserted into the ceiling, rotate the fixture clockwise slightly to ensure the spring wings are fully engaged and the fixture is well secured in the ceiling. For square adjustable trims, First, remove the trim cover. Then, adjust the height of the mounting tabs to be slightly greater than the thickness of your ceiling. For ceilings from 1 inch to 1 half inches thick, use the mounting tabs in the position shown. For ceilings from half inch to 1 inch thick, unscrew the mounting tabs, flip them over, and screw them back on in the position shown. To install, fold in the mounting tabs and insert the fixture fully into the ceiling. While holding the fixture in place, tighten the mounting tab screws so that the tabs swing out and clamp onto the inside of the adapter door. To adjust the tilt angle of an adjustable fixture, loosen the inner set screw shown here to increase the tilt angle. Tighten the inner set screw to decrease the tilt angle. Be careful not to over tighten the set screw in an attempt to adjust the tilt angle past vertical or over loosen the set screw so that it extends out past the surface of the trim or the trim cover will not fit properly. To adjust the rotation angle, loosen the outer set screw and rotate the fixture to the desired angle before tightening the set screw to lock the position. Replace the trim cover by snapping it into place. Note that if you encounter a desired rotation angle that cannot be reached due to the built-in rotation stop or from interference with the mounting hardware due to the tilt angle, you can remove the fixture from the ceiling and rotate the entire trim as needed before reinstalling and making fine adjustments with the set screws. To remove a fixed or wall wash fixture from the ceiling for servicing or replacement, push up on the optic or lens and pull straight down on the lip of the trim. Once the spring wings are visible, hold them in place with your hands while you finish pulling the fixture out of the ceiling to prevent damage or injury. To remove an adjustable fixture, first remove the trim cover and adjust the tilt angle so that the fixture is in the vertical position. For a round adjustable trim, hook your fingers into the trim and rotate it counterclockwise while pulling straight down out of the ceiling. For a square adjustable trim, hold the fixture in place while loosening the two mounting tab screws, then pull the fixture straight down. Once the fixture is out of the ceiling, disconnect the finishing section by unplugging it from the driver housing. If driver replacement or branch circuit inspection is needed, pull on the cord above the plug and guide the driver housing and junction box out of the ceiling. 
To swap out the light engine, optic, trim, or optical accessories, loosen the two captive screws connecting the light engine to the trim and remove the light engine. Install optical accessories by placing them into the trim. For 3 inch and 4 inch fixtures, remove the optic by twisting and pulling up on the edge of the optic. Install the new optic by snapping it onto the holder or simply placing it face down into the trim. For 2 inch fixtures, remove the optic by pulling back on the snap hooks while pulling up on the edge of the optic. Install the new optic by aligning the notches on the optic with the snap hooks and snapping it into the holder. Reinstall the light engine by placing it onto the trim and secure by pushing down on the spring-loaded captive screws to compress the springs, then fully tightening the screws. For adjustable trims, make sure that the tilt angle is in the vertical position. Then place the sliding shade onto the trim so that the cutout on the sliding shade mates with the trim. Make sure that the notch on the light engine is facing the taller side of the sliding shade then reinstall the light engine by tightening the screws. Mm -hmm.